Barry Barnett Keith, and I'm a native Alexandrian. Uh, went to TC Williams and for high school, and then attended the University of Delaware Art School. After that, I've been drawing since uh, age four, since I could have picked up a pencil, and uh, just started off drawing uh, cartoon figures, uh, Speed Racer. Marvel comics. Um, by the time I was in third grade, um, I, I could never eat lunch by myself because all the kids would be gathered around me, wanted me to draw things like Iron Man, Spider Man, Thor, and I hated Thor because he had the horns, but uh, and the long hair. But um, and it's just cars, things like that. You know, they kept me. They kept me practicing. As a matter of fact, um, one of the kids I was in school with, Larry Jones, um, had me come over a couple of days a week uh, to his house after school. And his mother, you know, would have me, would give me paper and pencil upon walking into the house, and she would say, "Go ahead," and I'll sit at the table and just draw whatever I wanted. She kept me drawing. They would just sit and watch me. You know, and I would uh, just keep practicing and practicing and practicing, you know, and uh, I'm grateful to them for that. And they, um, it wasn't until uh, I got to the University of Delaware, though, that I started painting. And um, I started off um, trying to paint uh, realist representationally, you know, um, and some of the things I was doing didn't work out so well, but I, I but uh, what college did for me is it provided a setting for me to keep practicing painting. And before I knew it, I was painting plain air. You know, I would go around, um, uh, sometimes around the campus, away from campus, um, around the house, outside the yard, whatever, you know, and uh, it kept practicing. And, and I started to mature uh, with my understanding of color, you know, because plain air demands that you paint fast. And, and one of the things uh, really that helped me, I started off in college as an oil painter, but I couldn't stand the, the uh, smell of the solvents. So, um, and I was ready to give up painting, to tell you the truth. And then, um, but then I was commissioned to do some paintings by the Black Student Union and uh, they gave me a budget and I went to uh, the bookstore in the student union, you know, well, the university bookstore. And I found a whole wall of acrylic paints and they had the same colors as the oil. So I, right then and there, I switched to acrylic and never looked back. I've been painting in acrylic ever since. Wow, that is so interesting. So, do you remember the first piece of art you actually sold? Um, yeah, it was some drawings, a series of drawings that had to do with the uh, construction theme drawings. I was working demolition in Alexandria at uh, what is now that area called Fox Chase. And uh, the construction company from Richmond came up and the boss was there one day and she learned through my foreman that I was in art school and she uh, asked me to, to do some some things that had to do with uh, uh, wrecking buildings and, and, and working with hands and all that. And unfortunately, from a project in college, I already had these drawings and I brought them to her and sold them to her. She bought them right on the spot. Wow. Mm -hmm. So what artist inspires you? I love the Impressionists and um, when I was in, um, but my very first uh, inspiration was Michelangelo. And it was through Michelangelo studying him in eighth grade. I used to leave school and go straight to the library and sit with books about, uh, with all Michelangelo's work, wondering how he did it. Because he's a, a triple threat. He's a, he was a sculptor, he was a painter and an architect you know, and uh, supremely talented. And um, his figure paintings and figures, I learned how to, that was my first encounter of learning how to draw the human body. Mm. Um, 
So Michelangelo, then I moved to the Impressionists after that with um, uh, Manet, Monet, these guys. Um, not, I hadn't, I hadn't um, learned about Van Gogh yet. Uh, Van Gogh's painting didn't appeal to me at the time. You know, and it was only later that I would really become inspired by him. But then there was John Singer Sargent, who was an American Impressionist, who, who was uh, very talented and uh, that I always have been inspired by. His landscapes, he's very versatile, his landscapes, portraits, things like that. And I wanted to, matter of fact, I modeled my work or my concept of working after him. I wanted to be as versatile as possible. Uh, paint buildings, portraits, uh, even do graphics, you know, landscapes, whatever. So I can, I'm able to go in any direction, you know, and that's because of looking at artists like Sargent. So uh, you're an educator as well. So what advice would you give um, up and coming artists or students who are currently in the art world? Uh, keep working because I've seen many uh, very talented students who just stop working and the art people don't realize or I'm not sure a lot of people realize that uh, art is so much work as much as I love it it is a tremendous amount of work and um, to to be in it as long as I have I, I suppose you have to love it and um, you know I teach all day and then come home and I put my apron on and go right to work on my own work. You know, that's how much it means to me. You know, I want to, I want to, um, at this point, I'm looking at my work. Uh, I want to leave a legacy of art, you know, murals, yes. murals, um, portraits, you know, people commission me to do family members who have uh, deceased, things like that, live, whatever. Um, my landscapes, um, all these things I want to leave as a, a legacy for anyone who comes after them. They look my name up and all these things pop up. You know, I want to become, um, this is what I'm working for. I want to become a great American artist. This is what I'm working toward. So. Nice. Well, it's the first time I ever said that. All right. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's out in the atmosphere. It's out. Now. It's out. <laughs> it's out. <laughs> So I have one last question. Tell tell the uh, people who are viewing this uh, video, how would you rate your experience here at the photo gallery? The photo gallery is, uh, has been very receptive. Miss um, McPhail has been very uh, kind, very very straight up with dealing with me. She she um, uh, is a very honest person. She she. Once you do business with her, she um, she's not uh, she she just wants she just wanted me to succeed, really. And it's 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 not for her. It's not about a lot of gain. She wants to promote her gallery, but it's not a lot of uh, you know. I've been swindled before. I've been you know taken for a ride. These things and those things hurt, especially when you you put your uh, heart and soul into your work and the next thing you know, um, I've had people steal my work, you know, off the internet or uh, my physical work um, from exhibits. But uh, the photo gallery was very uh, welcoming uh, and it's a relief. Um, uh, a black gallery like this, I hope it, um, and I think it will get the attention it deserves. Well, thank you so much, and um, we look forward to you coming back again. Next year. All right. <laughs> so, uh, once again, where can people find you? Are you on social media or? Yes, uh, I'm on uh, Barry Barnett Key on Facebook, uh, BB Keith on Instagram, and uh, in Google, just put my name, Barry Barnett Keith, and a lot of hit images and a lot of my work will pop up from uh, all the shows I've had in galleries and so forth. All right. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Mr. Key. Thank you.